welcome to Snetterton. Um, where do we even start? Uh, I don't know. Um, so we haven't actually done much talking to the camera because we've been trying to fix the car. Um, we were blighting the other day, you'll have already seen that video by now. Um, the car was running alright, but then it started to throw up a load of gremlins. Um, it was cutting out just randomly on track for no reason in any gear. Um, apparently it was just doing it turning left. Then I started doing it on the straight. Um, but yeah, anyway, we were trying to resolve that. So that was our main priority when we got here. Um, what did you fix? So I went through all the electrical system, uh, cleaned up all the earths and everything, and our tuner, um, he suggested it could be a cam position sensor because there was nothing coming up on the ECU, there's anything being wrong, but he suggested a cam position sensor. So big thanks to LA Mini. Um, they managed to supply us with a couple of cam position, uh, sorry, crank position sensors. Um, so swap that out. Uh, oh, I guess they clean up the arse and that, and that seems to have resolved that issue. Yeah, so in qualifying, I wasn't really because we weren't able to test the car on Friday, unfortunately, because testing was completely fully booked, even though we were on the reserve list. Um, so yeah, qualifying was kind of like the baptism of fire for the car. Um, so I went out quite apprehensive. Uh, the randomly cutting out on me was had stopped, which was nice. However, the handling was terrible. Like we've done SNET a few times. I know how the car should handle around here. It just wasn't up to par. Um, so I came in after quality. I was like, we need to change something. The back end is just stepping out on me. The f under braking, it was all squiggly. The steering wheel was kind of loose. It just wasn't right. So yes, yeah, since qualifying, we what have we changed? <laughs> so um, obviously, I went through the entire car. We found one of the inner ball joints was loose, um, just when it bolts onto the subframe. So I tightened that up. Um, on the advice of somebody else, we adjusted the shocks, um, and then we got um, Steve Berry from Mini Mafia, a big big thanks yeah, to him. Yeah, huge thank you to Steve. He came over, showed me how to use a string kit, because you might have seen in previous videos, well, I've got a string alignment kit, I've tried to do it before, but I'm still learning, I still don't really know what I'm doing with it. So he came over, took a lot of time with us and showed us how to use it. And basically the driver's side of the car was just completely out of whack. Um, Obviously having that loose joint at the front wouldn't have helped. Having that loose joint at the front wouldn't have helped. Um, but yeah, like, so the rear driver's side was torn out like six mil or something. Um, and no, sorry, it was about three or four mil. And then the front driver's side was torn out like 12 mil, something ridiculous. Like so that. that explains why it was handling like um, crap. Yeah, so basically, like, the driver's side of the car is what I like constantly go right, whereas the other side is was actually dead straight. It was perfect it was obviously wanting to go straight so we managed to resolve that after a bit of faffing about and again like i said big thanks to steve berry he's took it took a lot of time to show us how to use it he even helped us fix it and all that so that was brilliant and you think it's a lot better after that oh yeah went out on qualifying so not only that we fixed the steering wheel boss so we got a steering wheel boss obviously because we're two different drivers in the car normally and 
we both need to, it helps us get in and out of the car easier basically if you can remove the steering wheel however yeah there's reasons why we think that the steering wheel boss isn't what we actually thought we bought um i won't go into that right now but basically there was a lot of play in it and that plus it's been in two big accidents now as well yeah so that's that, true that would have felt it is two years old so it's kind of a, a number of factors i think has kind of loosened it up and it, yeah, it just wasn't feeling great. So we've it, just removed it completely. Yeah, so the now. steering wheel is just hard onto the, like, bolt this straight onto the normal boss now. So it's kind of it's completely solid. Yeah, it makes it a little bit more difficult to get in and out of the car, but we'll just live with that. It's fine. I'd rather have a steering wheel that was actually connected and felt good. Um, however, yeah, went out on race one, and the handling was just so much better. Like I like I say, I've done snap a few times and. I like SNET, I like how the car handles around SNET and again on the brakes and qualifying it was just horrendous, like the brakes are amazing, they always have been, um, but under, the handling under braking was shocking, it was just all over the place, it was really squiggly um, and I didn't like that at all so it made me lose a lot of confidence just under braking, not on the brakes themselves but just under braking. Um, so yeah that we seem to have resolved that issue by sorting all the loose things at the front end and also sorting the ha handling and the alignment and everything so yeah qualifying yeah i qualified dead last so that was just not good but then race one um i was last in the cooper s's but we still haven't managed to resolve the power steering problem <laughs> fighting that since before we left home yeah, um, I've changed so much I've changed the pump I've changed the alternator I've taken the wiring out I've tested all the wiring it's all good I've put it back in uh, you'll have seen a time lapse of me changing the fuse box you've changed you've cleaned up the earths well I've even taken so I we changed well I changed the pump back home and then obviously thought I'm working here so last night um, 
I changed the, well, I didn't change the pump. I took the pump out again, took it apart, cleaned it up, rebuilt it, put it back in the car. Still the same thing. It's got all nice new fluid in it. It's just, I've changed everything I can change here. And it's just, we had no power to I have no idea why. Yeah, so I'm still like several seconds off what I can get round here in a car with less power because our car last year when we were last year didn't have as much power as this one and I was quicker so yeah but I am hauling on the steering wheel at the hairpin and Angostini it's just yeah it's really I'm not struggling it's drivable it's just not as quick as it would be if the power steering worked but hey ho it is what it is I finished the race that's the main thing um so yeah happy with that and we will see how we get on tomorrow um, apologise for us looking terrible right now. We are both exhausted. It's been a really long couple of days. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just about to head to bed and get some kit for tomorrow. Catch you then. Bye. Attempt 500 to fix the power steering. So we're just taking the bottom banjo bolt out of the steering rack. 